In this video, we're going to take a look at three successful podcast introductions and take away seven actionable tips that you can implement to hook your listeners. The first podcast intro that we're going to listen to is Riverside's very own podcast, Hit Publish. Let's take a listen. Now we've got this like battle for our attention, right? Across all social media apps, across all the streaming platforms, TV, music, like everyone wants our attention. But what so many of these platforms want is our visual attention. Tip number one is to start with a quote from the episode. Take a snippet from the upcoming episode that has exceptionally valuable information and put it before your podcast introduction with your podcast intro music underneath. By including content from the upcoming episode, it gives the listener a glimpse into what's to come and demonstrates the value of listening to the episode. Tip number two is to use music that will be consistent with your brand. You want to find a theme song for your show to use in your introduction. Be picky with this because it's the same music that you should use in promo videos and ads because you want to keep the branding consistent. Make sure the music represents the tone of your brand and the content that you are creating. Some great websites to find royalty-free music are artlist.io, Mixkit, and Adobe Stock Audio. Tip number three is to include video. You want to include some sort of visual asset to go along with your introduction for Spotify video podcasts or even YouTube. The next introduction that we will look at is from the show On Purpose with Jay Shetty. Hey everyone, welcome back to On Purpose, the number one health podcast in the world. Thanks to each and every one of you that come back every week to listen, learn, and grow. Now this episode is a conversation with Alex Lieberman, who's a co-founder of Morning Brew. And on his podcast, Imposters, I think we got into some really interesting topics that I don't always get to dive in. I got to open up about my entrepreneurship journey. I got to talk more about social media and business. You're also going to hear my insights on when I feel anxiety and when I feel like an imposter. So to me, this is a really deep dive into my mindset from the perspective of an interviewee. And I think you're really going to enjoy this episode, especially if you've been listening along every Friday hearing my insights. So don't skip this one. Don't miss this one. You're going to love it. Thank you for lending me your ears, whether you're walking, running at the gym, walking your dog, cooking, whatever you're up to. Thank you for listening to On Purpose. Tip number four is to pitch the upcoming episode. Make sure you show the audience your excitement about the upcoming episode. Talk about specifics that will be talked about and why you are excited to put the episode out. Tip number five is to keep it organic. There are two types of ways to do introductions. You can read your intro organically for every episode, or you can have a pre-recorded intro that you insert into every episode. This is a great example of an intro that's read by the host every time. This gives you more flexibility with your call to actions if you have an upcoming event or you want to pitch an upcoming episode. Now let's listen to the Indie Hackers podcast because they have a great pre-recorded introduction that's inserted into every episode. What's up, everybody? This is Cortland from IndieHackers.com, and you're listening to the Indie Hackers podcast. More people than ever are building cool stuff online and making a lot of money in the process. And on this show, I sit down with these indie hackers to discuss the ideas, the opportunities, and the strategies they're taking advantage of so the rest of us can do the same. So tip number six is to pre-record your introduction. By having a generic pre-recorded intro, you can make sure that the timing of the introduction essentials are always consistent. The host can then take over to talk about any episode-specific content. And tip number seven is to keep it short. Remember that although you may have new listeners, you'll also have older listeners and people who are binging your show. So they will be hearing your introduction multiple times. You want to make sure that all of the necessary and reoccurring information is as short and snappy as possible. There you go. That's seven actionable tips for your podcast introduction, all taken from podcasts recorded on Riverside. Let's do a quick recap of the tips that we mentioned. Tip number one is to start with a quote from the episode. Tip number two, use music that will be consistent with your brand. Tip number three, include a video asset. Tip number four, pitch the upcoming episode. Tip number five, keep it organic. Tip number six, pre-record your introduction. And tip number seven, keep it short. 
We hope this video has given you a head start on creating an introduction that will engage and hook your listeners. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to know more about how to upgrade your podcast, then check out this playlist of videos full of tips and tricks to take your content to the next level.